Hi, my name is Andrea and welcome back to Geeky Girls Journal. Today's video is about unrolling from the child tax credit. If you are interested and you're still trying to figure out if you would like to unenroll, this video is for you. We are going to talk about how to unenroll and we're going to talk about some of the frequently asked questions associated with unenrolling if you're still trying to make that decision. Thank you for watching our video and thank you for your support. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. And if you are returning, we are so glad that you came back. We are going to get right into this video. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel. Enroll in the child tax credit payments. All you have to do is go to irs.gov. That's where you start. Then you tap search at the top. You're going to type in child tax credit portal, which I've already done. Then you're just going to tap the magnifying glass or go and it'll take you to this page where it says advanced child tax credit payments in 2021 go scroll down until you see child tax credit update portal you're going to click that because this is where you can unenroll okay once you get there child tax credit update portal you scroll down and as you can see here it tells you what you can do using this tool you can check to see if you're enrolled to receive advanced payments you can unenroll and you can provide or update your bank account information for monthly payments if that applies to anybody starting with the august payment because it's too late to do it now for july so you're going to continue to scroll down tap manage advanced payments okay and on this next page you are going to sign in with your id me or sign in with an existing irs username Next, you'll just follow the steps to, un to complete your unenrollment process. A few of the reasons some of you may want to opt out are that you may have had a change in your employment, you may want a lump sum check instead of having your check divided in half, and some of you um, may be in a situation where you may owe taxes, so you may want to opt out for that reason. But we are going to go over some of the most frequently asked questions right now. Why should I unenroll? And it says, according to the IRS, you may want to unenroll from receiving advanced child tax credit payments for several reasons, including you expect the amount of tax you owe to be greater than your expected refund when you file your 2021 tax return. The payments you receive are in advance of the child tax credit that you would normally get when you file your 2021 tax return. Because these credits are paid in advance, every dollar you receive will reduce the amount of child tax credit you will claim on your 2021 tax returns. So this means that by accepting advanced child tax credit payments, the amount of your refund may be reduced or the amount of tax you owe may increase. You may avoid owing tax to the IRS if you unenroll and claim the entire credit when you file your 2021 tax return. The next question is, what is the deadline to unenroll? So we have already missed the deadline for July. If you have not unenrolled at this point, you're going to receive the payment for this month. You can, however, unenroll for next month's payment, but you need to do that by August 2nd, 2021, because the payment date is 813. So you have to do it, as it says at the top, three days before the first Thursday of the month by 1159. So don't forget if you've chosen to opt out of these payments, make sure you do it before August Second, the next question states, what happens if I miss the unenrolled deadline? You will get the next scheduled advance payment until we process your request to unenroll. The next question says, how long does it take my unenrollment to process? It may take up to seven calendar days. Check back after enrolling to make sure your request was processed successfully. When can I re-enroll? You cannot re-enroll at this time. Enrollment is a one-time action. You'll be able to re-enroll starting in late September 2021. If I'm married filing jointly, does my spouse also need to unenroll? Yes, unenrolling applies to the individual only, so you and your spouse both would have to unenroll if you are filing jointly. If my spouse unenrolls and I don't unenroll, what will happen? 
and it says if you don't unenroll you will get half of the joint payment you were supposed to receive with your spouse. If you are still trying to decide if you want to unenroll from the child tax credits, let us know in the comment section. If you have already made your decision, let us know in the comment section. If you have anything else that you'd like to add, let us know in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video.